student from Fort Myers. But now back in at Florida Gulf Coast University. And the overpass is an easy kill for Juliana Lentz, who earned a first team all A Sun selection this past season for the first time in her career, a first teamer. And it's 1 0 Eagles. Another tough serve, and the pass not made by Florida. The service ace, it's 2 0 Florida Gulf Coast. As Tessier began her collegiate career at Florida State, played last year at Iowa. First team all A Sun selection herself. Florida will run the offense now to Kennedy Martin, and it's played up in the back row nicely by Kent. Victoria on the outside will get the kill, hitting off of Lentz. And Florida's on the scoreboard. Victoria will serve for the moment. McKissick out for Florida. And the senior, A.C. Fitzpatrick, checks in on Florida's front row. So you have Okamore, Fitzpatrick, and Martin now on the front row for Florida in this rotation. Overpass. Nadia Okamore misses. Didn't get on top of it. Sailed it long. It's 3-1 Florida Gulf Coast. And after serving Victoria out in the libero, McKiz again. For Florida Ghost. Gulf Coast, Skyler English will serve it. Team high, 47 service aces on the year. Right side, Martin with the push. And that attack is out. As Florida makes changes, Gabby Essex in the middle, and Trinity Adams in to serve it. Adams on this Gator team, second in service aces on the year with 30, trailing only Kennedy Martin. Florida Gulf Coast runs one to the middle, and a kill in the middle for Juliana Lentz. Lentz goes up and goes around Essex and Fitzpatrick for pay dirt. Libero now for Florida Gulf Coast. Reese Burry to serve it. Gabby Essex, that's a good start for the Florida middle. No, and it's out. I thought the line judge called it in. So it's a point for Florida Gulf Coast University. An attack error called. Our officiating crew, Mark Prather, is the up official. Tony Cothran is the down official. Who will also double as our replay official. Back set, right side. Kennedy Martin down for the kill. Member of the SEC first team, as well as the SEC all-freshman team. As we look, another look from the right side. Goes around the double block attempt towards the middle of the court. Has had double-digit kills in every match this season. Fitzpatrick played up. Kent down the line. Out to Fitzpatrick. Tries to tool the block, but missed the hands and missed it long. Here's a serve for Alexandra Zakutny. Essex down the line on the slide play will get the kill. Gabby Essex in the last regular season match against Kentucky, warming up for the tournament, if you will. 7 0 12 was her stat line against Kentucky at Rupp Arena. Here's a serve for Ellie McKissick of Florida. The Florida libero, second on the all-time digs list as Kent takes an angle shot and misses it wide. Kent, one of the top offensive performers for the Eagles on the season with 17 double-digit kill matches, including a season-high 22 at Eastern Kentucky back on October 21st. Florida within one. 
slide play off Victoria. It goes out of bounds in the kill for Ella Chapman. Chapman, just a freshman out of Greensburg, Indiana, was the A-Sun freshman of the year. As Shelby Kent serves it into the net for Florida Gulf Coast. Okamore and Canan return as Adams and Essex go out. DS for middle, middle for DS. As Florida started the year with some high-profile wins, and then Alexis Stuckey, the All-American setter, tore ACL and MCL against Wisconsin, the number one team in the country at that time here on this court. So a lot different lineup as Kennedy Martin blasts away from what is called the BIC. The quick set to the middle in the back row. And Kennedy Martin and Kennedy Muff, the setter, have really honed this to perfection. Tied at seven. Here's the Canan serve. She wears number seven in white. Outside swing for English, dug up by Canan. The push for Okamore is down. Katie Okamore also coming off a great match. Last time out against Kentucky, 5-0-7. Had a block solo and five block assists as well. Look from behind, Canan serving. As you see the slide play to the right antenna, and it's good for Ella Chapman. An A-Sun play, Ella Chapman, who wears 22 in green. 333 hitting percentage in conference matches. Serve for Chanel. And the swing for Okamore on the slide play. Canaan digs up English. And a back row attack violation called on Florida. Here is Chanel Pitts serving for the Eagles. Back row attack. Caught some net. Outside English. English again on the outside for Florida Gulf Coast. To Victoria. And she is blocked. Crowd trying to urge on this home standing Florida team as Victoria with the push gets the kill. Got it around the block attempt of Lentz and Tessier. Kennedy Muff, quite the story. Played last season at Division II Flagler. Came in to be the backup for Alexis Stuckey. Has set this team since that second set against Wisconsin. English is stuff blocked by Kennedy Martin and Nady Okamore. Tied at 10, Muff to serve. Great block cover. Couldn't see who it was, blocked from my view. To the right side, Kennedy Martin is blocked. A block cover there for Canaan. Victoria, flicking the wrist and the kill for the senior. Florida Gulf Coast University head coach Matt Botsford wants a timeout here as fair that he wanted to correct right away as Muff serves after the Eagle timeout. English. Florida goes to Victoria and got it in. Sophia Victoria, one of the pin hitters that Florida needs to produce to make a deep run into the NCAA tournament. As she makes her approach and finds the seam between the two blockers to give Florida a two point lead. That's a back row attack violation called on Shelby Kent. 
junior from Treasure Coast High School, Port St. Lucie. And we'll see a substitution as Kent will be sub for, for Claire Ertle. Defensive specialist to give the Eagles some more ball control. English off hands, played up by Canan near us. Free ball sent across by Victoria. Where will the Eagles go? Tessier goes the outside. Gator block touch to give the back row defense a chance. And from the right side, Kennedy Martin delivers. Tessier sets English on the outside, the only shot she had. Victoria down the line. Saw back right was open, and Zakutni couldn't get there in time. And another quick win over South Alabama. Florida, and Florida Gulf Coast University looking to do the same thing here. Two timeouts already used by Florida Gulf Coast, so Matt Botsford out of timeouts. Each team allotted two, so Mary Wise and the Gators have their two remaining. As after the Eagles called timeout, here's Kennedy Muff. Muff will play it to the outside. Victoria, snap of the wrist. Great diving play by the libero, Burry. And sent into back right. Superb play there as Found a spot open in Florida's back right. Defensive specialist was in the middle of the court. Okamore with the redirect. Played up there nicely by Ergel. And the kill for Zakutni. Alexandra Zakutni, fifth year player out of Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, by way of Green Bay, where in 22 and 21, she was a Horizon Leaguer first team. Martin from the right. Tessier couldn't dig it up and back right for the Eagles. New nuance for Florida, if you will, as this season has progressed with Sophia Victoria serving in this rotation. And she serves that one long. Florida, the three-point lead. And serving for Florida Gulf Coast, here's English. Blockers for Florida Gulf Coast slowed it down. And on the outside, Zakutni with the kill. The fifth year player named second team All A Sun. Got some hands there, as you saw in the replay of Kennedy Martin. Overpass, look out below. Somehow Fitzpatrick played it up, but it goes. It stayed in! As English played it all the way down to the floor, but it stayed in and caught the line. So quick reflexes here. You'll see it by Fitzpatrick and in. Actually on the wood grain of the, the court. As Trinity Adams checks in along with Gabby Essex for Florida. Right side attack, tip shot. The foot speed exhibited there by McKissick. Right side, Martin with a tip. Tips it in the front left. A diving effort made by Reese Burry, but she can't get there in time. Florida with a four-point lead and serve with Trinity Adams. Off coast goes to the middle, and it's a kill in the middle for Juliana Lentz. Kill for Juliana Lentz. 
Lentz, when these two teams met last season in September, had four kills in the matchup against the Gators and two block assists as Reese Burry, freshman, serves it here for the Eagles. Fitzpatrick winds up and dents the floor on the angle shot. Loads up, approach, and around the block inside of the middle blocker. That Kennedy Martin sails long. So Kootenay serves, overpass. Nice up from English to the outside to Kent. Gators blocked it back. And we have back row attack violation. The outside to Kent, down the line, played up by Adams, but she's past the center line, muffed it all she could to try to steer it back. The Florida's lead trimmed to three. Credit the kill to Sh Shelby Kent. Checking in is Claire Ertle for Kent to serve and play along the back row. That one's long as Martin had to get out of the way. Florida Gulf Coast, with their second service error. Florida also with two on the first frame here. Gators hitting at a 310 clip. Florida Gulf Coast at 129. The Canaan serve is in play as she's checked back in with Okamore. Just beyond the end line as Martin tracked it down. Both teams looking when they don't have an insistent play to try to put it in back right of their opponent. That time it was just long. Short serve from Canaan. Awkward play. This time more conventional, but there's the foot speed again of McKissick getting to the ball. Great up from Burry. Out to English. And English. That's where they want to attack when Kennedy Muff is in the front row. Florida's smallest in stature blocker. And that's off the left arm of Okamore as she goes on the angle shot. Chanel Pitt serves for Florida Gulf Coast. Victoria blasts one to the block of Tempo Blentz. Lentz is the Eagles' best blocker. Who led the A-Sun this past season in blocks and blocks per set. As Muff serves. Hurdle can't make the pass. It's a service ace for Kennedy Muff. And the Gators get it to set point. Muff with her 18th service ace on the season. As those clad in orange and blue around the exact tech arena come to their feet. English with an off speed shot. Martin blocked, but the block covered from Canaan. The joust won by Kennedy Martin. And the first set goes for the number four seed. Senior A.C. Fitzpatrick, who in that opening set did register two kills. Set number two, set for action here as the teams exchange benches and sides of the court. Glad you're along for the ride here on ESPN Plus, wherever you're watching from this evening.
on the last day of November. Florida, when winning the first set on the 2023 campaign, has a mark of 12 and 3. As for Florida to open up with the serve to open up this set is Kennedy Muff. Tessier goes right side and off the block, a kill for Skylar English. With the Gators frustrated in the opening set, limiting her to a negative number. Now she's back in a flat zero with 16 swings, the most of any eagle to this point. Three kills, three errors. Victoria goes down the line with the push. And a free ball sent across for Florida to play. Haiti Okamore goes to her left. And Okamore, who did not log a lot of time on the court last year, had earned a start in the rotation and then really has blossomed since forced into even more duty when Anna Dixon went down to injury. She and Gabby Essex, the two middles. Florida Gulf Coast with the kill there for Juliana Lentz. And Libero Reese Burry serving. That one ate up Canaan. It's a service ace. For Reese Burry, her 21st service ace on this season. This is a team that can serve it. 1.7 service aces per set. 71st in the NCAA, and that one sails long. Skylar English, their leader in that department, but that one, the error, and for the match, the third service error for Florida Gulf Coast. Something they'll have to do is serve aggressively to try to serve Florida out of its offense. As Adams checks in and serves it wide. So a rotation for F Florida Gulf Coast University and serving is Alexandra Zakutni. Zakutni on the year tied for second on the squad with 35 service aces. To the right side, Martin is blocked. It goes out of bounds. Another kill for Kennedy Martin. Give her seven in 11 looks. And now Martin serves it. Also the greater service ace leader and block assist leader. Gabby Essex with the ball in the plane of the net. Sends one down to put a dent in the floor. Have to like the look on her face that, yeah, I did that. And I think we're going to have a challenge from Florida Gulf Coast head coach Matt Botsford. And maybe not. Okay, we're ready to resume play. As that conversation with Tony Cothran, the R2 is over. Played up by Adams after a slow by the Gator block. Back row attack is wide for Martin. The lead back to Florida Gulf Coast University. The Eagles back-to-back -back A-Sun Conference champions getting the automatic bid to travel here for this first round match. As A.C. Fitzpatrick has to readjust. Out to English. Oh. That one almost slipped through Muff's hands. It barely squirted out and down to the floor. Shelby Kent, ready to deliver another serve for Florida Gulf Coast. 21 aces coming into action tonight. Just wide for A.C. Fitzpatrick, who spent her first two years playing at Penn State. 
Really has seen her role expanded this season. As A.C. Fitzpatrick. Back row attack, Martin. Burry digs it up the libero for Florida Gulf Coast. Fitzpatrick, the off speed. That's another back row attack. Her foot is on the line. That's either the second or third called on Shelby Ken. Got to be behind that orange line, the attack line, to be in the back row and not get the violation. That'll bring McKissick to serve for Florida. Third on the squad in the ace category. Give her one there, number 23. As she adds to her total. And with that ace, breaks a tie with Arimar Rodriguez at 20th and ties Ashley Mullis at 19th on the Florida Service Ace chart. Career. Muffs, that's the outside. Sophia Victoria again with the angle shot, with the flip of the wrist. And she's got seven kills now to match Kennedy Martin atop the Florida hit chart. Florida 3 0 scoring run to tie this one up at seven. Another tough serve from McKissick. Really, the back end of the season, she has found a serving groove. Diving play by Reese Burry. English, stuff blocked by Gabby Essex and Kennedy Muff. Another great look as Muff set it. Essex running in tandem with her, and Essex got it. Muff goes outside. Victoria again. Dug up by Kent. Florida on a roll to now to take a two point lead. Stays with Florida. No net violation. So it was confirmed. And Florida continues on this scoring run, which is now 5 0. Everyone goes silent as McKissick prepares to serve. English off hands, a one arm save by Mark. Another one arm save, that by Reese Burry. Free ball coming across to Florida. Essex delivers in transition. Kennedy Muff finds Essex at the right antenna. Perfectly placed back set to Essex running and taking off on one foot on the slide play at the right pin. Back row attack misses for Shelby Kent. Matt Botsford has seen enough. He's going to make a substitution and try to break this Florida run as Ertl checks back in and Kent out. So it takes away the back row attack potential from Kent, who was substituted for there. But the back row attack there from Zakutni. Free ball opportunity now for Florida Gulf Coast. And got it in, did Ella Chapman. For Chapman, her 10th look on the evening and four kills for the freshman from Greensburg, Indiana, who has had during her freshman campaign four double digit kill matches. Just narrowly missed one in the A-Sun Tournament Final with nine. Last match that the Eagles played. Up from Myrtle. Up from Martin. 
Just steered across by Victoria. Slide play for Lentz. The Gators will play it up. Victoria tried the push shot, but was blocked by Lily Tessier. A physical blocker as the setter, the six foot three grad student. And the block goes right back into Sophia Victoria trying to get out of the way. Up from Pitts, out to English. And Skyler English on a blistering attack from the left pin. Great connection there with the setter Tessier. Serve for Pitts. It's an ace. Again, coming in with over 200 service aces on the year collectively as a squad for Pitts. That's her 17th. And the error to follow. Changes for both teams as for Florida Gulf Coast. Chapman in just for a brief moment on the libero exchange. Reese Burry on the floor. For the Gators, Canan in and Okamore in. Again, middle for DS, DS for middle for Florida. Here's Canan serving for the Gators, Emily Canan. Up from Kennedy Martin. Great up from Reese Burry diving. Martin again with the dig. Kennedy Muff with the left hand redirects. Second contact kill for Kennedy Muff. And Florida Gulf Coast University Eagles head coach Matt Bodsford wants and gets a touch with students on this veteran Florida team. Good mixture of youth and veterans, of course. Kennedy Martin, a member of the SEC all-freshman team as well as the all-SEC first team led the SEC in kills per set in her freshman campaign. Quite the story. Trouble, but from the back row, the swing just long for Zagutny. That took me by surprise. I thought she'd just play the ball over, but took the rip. Florida continues on a 3-0 now scoring run as the serve for Canaan is in the net. Winner of this match will take on Georgia Tech tomorrow here on this same court at 7 o'clock in second round action. As the Yellow Jackets defeated South Alabama earlier. Okamore took something off and found an open spot in the floor. Ertl and Burry gave chase, but couldn't get there in time. So Nady Okamore, a check of her numbers. Three kills. One error and six swings. Identical numbers to her fellow middle. That's out, so the kill off the block for Alexandra Zakutny. Checking back in for Florida Gulf Coast, playing on the front row is Shelby Kent. As Matt Botsford has gone to that, more here as the match has proceeded. Hurdle in the back row, Kent in the front. Out of self-defense, Tessier got it back across the net. Not much defense for that. Kennedy Martin extends her six-foot six frame and buries it for her eighth kill on the evening. And that Kennedy to Kennedy connection has really blossomed that this season has gone along with more reps. The service ace for Sophia Victoria. Ninth on the season for Sophia. And the bottom drops out. Thank you. 
Florida has been using the short serve more and more late in the season. Really was effective in the Gators' five set tough loss at Arkansas. Sent over by Zakutni. English with the up. Big stuff block for Okamore. On her left shoulder was A.C. Fitzpatrick. That's textbook. Two blockers in unison. And the Great Wall of Florida on the left side. And there's Fitzpatrick, this time Essex on her right shoulder. As Essex just checked in along with Trinity Adams. Boy. Instant replay. Almost exact same spot. Muff, that one ate her up. Chapman with the kill in the middle for Florida Gulf Coast. Kootenay with her serve for the Eagles. Essex keeps it in. Great connection on that quick middle set to Essex. He now has four kills on the evening. It's Kennedy Martin lets one fly. That's a tough ask of Shelby Ken. The ball dying near the bottom of the net. And Matt Botsford doesn't like what he's seeing, what is trending for him. With well, the average 2.4 blocks per set as Martin serve is in the net. Kennedy Martin. Kill leader, kills per set leader, ace leader, block assist, tied for total blocks, over a block per set. Just an unbelievable freshman campaign. As AC Fitzpatrick blasts away. And back for a second look as Muff, perfect delivery for AC Fitzpatrick, who is on time for the swing on the angle shot. Florida closing in on taking a two sets to none lead here. Two handed push by Sukutni. Essex takes the ball off the hands of the Eagle blockers off Victoria's attack and just in the plane of the net can deliver a termination. Blockers in a good spot, but a, even a better spot was Gabby Essex. Set too far back as the fans clad in orange and blue across the way and around the gymnasium here at Exact Tech Arena come to their feet as Florida has a chance, multiple chances here at set point at 24-16 to take a two set to none lead. And it will end that way. The Florida Gators take the second set 25-6. And the 2-0 lead for Florida. Kennedy Martin with seven digs as well. You saw she has eight kills on the day, so approaching another double-double. As Victoria will pound away for Florida and get her eighth kill on the afternoon, or early evening, I should say. And it's tied with Kennedy Martin atop the Florida hit chart. Victoria now serves.
Earlier this month on the 10th, she had four service aces on this floor against LSU, a career high. There's the slide play, and A.C. Fitzpatrick is there to meet Julia Lentz. Tractor the whole way. Okamore trying to close late, but that was all A.C. Fitzpatrick. Give her her sixth block solo on the year. Again, another example of Florida blockers slowing down to give the back row defenders a chance. And in transition, Florida goes to Kennedy Martin. Ninth on the night. Fitzpatrick with a crafty senior shot and off speed, tooling the hands. And if you're Matt Botsford, how long do you wait at the beginning of the set for a timeout as Florida has posted a 4-0 lead here with number four serving? Muff goes to the outside. And A.C. Fitzpatrick dug up. Great play in back left. Block from view. The up official was in my direct view. But that A.C. Fitzpatrick attack came back quickly. And Mary Wise is asking her players if was the ball down. I think that's what she's asking. On the other side of the court. And we have... The call was confirmed that the ball was up from Reese Burry on that rocket launch from A.C. Fitzpatrick from the left pin. So Zakutney will serve it here for Florida Gulf Coast. Each team with one challenge remaining. And if it goes to a fifth, each coach will get another one added. Right side attack and making her presence known as Destiny Nelson. Nelson, a different look, a different arm swing, a different slot, got it in the seam there. Out of the 122 sets coming in, only seen action in 31. Kennedy Martin with the push for kill number 10. Another di double digit kill match for Kennedy Martin. And with eight digs, another double-double could be on the horizon for her here. As Adams and Essex check in. Outside to English, Gator Block touches it again. McKissick with the dig. Good choice by Muff to get the ball to Essex, the middle in transition. Essex has been highly efficient tonight. Her stat line, six kills, one error, nine swings, 556. A good target for Kennedy Muff, the Florida setter. Muff will play this one off the forearms to Martin. And Kennedy Martin give her now 11. Again, just a fabulous season that Martin has been showcasing here in her freshman campaign. That one just misses for Destiny Nelson. Timeout called for here by Florida Gulf Coast University as we play here in Gainesville. It's after the Eagles called timeout by Florida Gulf Coast University. Trinity Adams serves again for Florida. A pancake save for McKissick. And the block for Fitzpatrick in Essex.
Look at the pancake, the diving save by McKissick. Nothing in between those two blockers. Where was the attacker to go? Somehow Tessier saved it. Fitzpatrick's attack hit the antenna. Going down the line, she caught the antenna to her left. Again, must win situation for Florida Gulf Coast. Out of the A-Sun Conference, taking on Florida from the SEC. And Kennedy Martin delivers the biggest blast of the night from the right antenna. Wow. Loads up and goes around the two blockers on the angle shot. Almost a kick save from McKissick. I didn't think Martin thought that would be coming back at her. Credit that last kill, by the way, to Ella Chapman. Ertl has checked in and serves for Florida Gulf Coast. Ertl with the up there. From the back row, Zakutni with the kill. Fifth year player, again, from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. By the way of Green Bay, two-time Horizon League first teamer. Gabby Essex a flip of the wrist at the slide at the right antenna. Essex now with seven kills. It's a good sign if Florida has good ball control and can get the ball to their middles. As Essex ties her season high and kills with that seventh kill. Florida Gulf Coast gets back on the board. Don't want to lose too much more touch, more contact with Florida as Zakutni delivers the termination. And here's Skyler English serving. Trouble as Kennedy Muff just dove into the table. You might have heard that on my microphone. Push the media table about an inch, two inches back into me here, trying to make that play. Another superb serve by English, and another ball that Victoria can't handle. Back to back aces for Skyler English. Their leader now with 49 on the season. Heavy top spin ball that Victoria goes down and gets but can't control. Can she make it three in a row? That one, the toss was off a little bit, couldn't get on top of it. Canan and Okamore check in for Florida. Okamore in the front row, and Kanan serving. That one's in, and she points to it. It's a Kootenai. Changes for Florida Gulf Coast as I can't see the number, I beg your pardon. But it is Pitts checking in to serve here. Okamore with an off speed shot. The attack hit the antenna, that's out of bounds. That'll bring Muff to serve for Florida. Again, simple for Florida Gulf Coast to stay alive. They have to take this set. 
Florida up 2-0. Muff sets the right side. Kennedy to Kennedy. Martin is dug up by Ertl. Back row attack, English. Muff with the up. Victoria with the kill off hands. To Kootenay, covers her own blocked ball. Again, McKissick exhibits that foot speed. The dive for Canaan. Tessier tried to catch the Gators napping. Victoria loads up and is blocked. Canaan can't get there. Fans in the stands appreciate the effort on both squads with that long rally. She's carried this Florida team for much of the season. Kennedy Martin again. And a five point four to lead. Victoria, as everyone in the gym goes silent, she serves the ace. Second ace of the night for Sophia Victoria. Five on the night for Florida collectively. Donna Lentz pushes it off the Florida block for the kill. Zakutni for Florida Gulf Coast. Might she be the player to get them on a service run to close this gap that Florida has maintained? Kennedy Martin for 14 now. In the history of this Florida program, Gators are 27 and 0 in NCAA first round matches. 26 and 0 during the tenure of Mary Wise. That one is long and wide for Skyler English. For Fitzpatrick and Essex. Matt Botsford wants down in this 2023 campaign. English off the net. 17th dig for McKissick. In self defense, the up for Tessier. Right side, Martin. It's blocked. English and Lentz. Defense can be a momentum shifter. Great look at a great block setup. 18, blocking 18. Wow, the up from Burry. That was in her lap in a hurry. Zakutni played up by McKissick. Another block for Florida Gulf Coast. This one, it's the freshman Ella Chapman. 
In conference play, she was seventh in the league with almost a block per set. The Burry serve. Short ball, Adams had to race in to get it. Gabby Essex with her eighth kill, a new season high. Florida has reached the 20 mark. Just wide for Kennedy Martin. Again, Georgia Tech awaits the winner of this match to play tomorrow night here at 7 o'clock in Exact Tech. Back row, Martin. Another great up from the freshman, Reese Burry. That one off the Florida block of Muff and Essex is out of bounds. Ertl, another short ball. Ertl with the up. Back throws Rosa Kootenay. Great block cover, McKissick. Four hits. Right away, Mark Prather stopped action and called the four hit violation. And a timeout for Matt Botsford in Florida Gulf Coast. Nope, it's a challenge. They're challenging a tut using the Wireless intercom system. Tony Cothran. So the call stands. And Matt Bodsford can smile about it. Worth one more one more look. Well, that's, it, could it be Tessier and Chapman both hitting it? If they do both hit it, it would be four hits. Thank you, Jeremy and our crew for getting us those great looks. Tessay serves the back rows of Kootenay. It's long. And Ellie McKissick. Set to serve, already two service aces on the night. Victoria also has two. Muff has thrown in one as well for Florida. And it's in! That's three on the night for Ellie McKissick as she continues to climb. The Florida all-time service ace list. With two now, she's tied at number 18 on the list with Goody Staub at 106. And then serves the air. Ending a 3-0 Florida scoring run. As Florida looking to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Serve here for Skylar English. Eagles need points in a hurry. Diving play by McKissick. Dig number 20. Wow, back row Martin. That just got out of McKissick's way. Out to Zakutney. Martin with her ninth dig. Great up from English. Oh, that should be 10 now digs for Kennedy Martin. And the kill to get the Gators to match point. Appropriate. For Florida, then it comes from Sophia Victoria, and it's her 10th kill on the night. Canaan serves at match point. Up from Martin. Victoria loads up again. Hurdle calls everybody off and takes it. Zakutni from the left pin. 
for Florida Gulf Coast as they avert one match point. Chanel Pitts checks in and will serve. Should Florida get a good first contact, where will Muff go to end it in the offense? Let's see. Sophia Victoria blasts away, kill number 11. And the Florida Gators win again in an NCAA tournament first round match. Now 28-0 in the program, 27-0 under Mary Wise.